Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games. Before I get into today's video, I want to do my usual thank you. So thank you for everyone who has liked my previous videos. And thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel, including my three latest subscribers. Uh, sorry, I can't, can't pronounce this name because it's uh, these characters here, but... Um, Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. We've also got Ollie. Thank you, Ollie, for subscribing. And we've also got Puzzle. Puzzle, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Um, and everyone else who has subscribed previously, it is really, really appreciated. It's very humbling that you guys and girls um, take the time to watch my videos and subscribe. Um, I mean, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel anyway, but it just lets me know that uh, you are interested in watching more content. Right, we're back in Kerbal Space Program, and for those of you that have keen-eyed and watched my previous episodes, maybe looking at this going, uh, this looks a little bit basic again. And it is. And some of you may also be looking at the top right and corner going, what is this countdown timer? Three days, three hours, seven minutes, uh, with New World underneath. Well... For those of you that have watched my previous uh, episodes of um, New World Beta Testing, that's what it is. And if I flick over to this screen, it releases September 28th. So you can still pre-order. Um, this is just a fantastic, fantastic uh, multiplayer game. Um, I've been waiting for a multiplayer game like this to come out for a long time. Uh, just go onto your Googles, type in uh, New World uh, for those of you that are interested in pre-ordering. And for anyone that is interested in playing with me and my fellow friends, um, then let me know in the comments below. Or you can uh, join my Discord, which is in the uh, in the comments. There's a link to my Discord. You can join the Discord and message me in there. Um, and then, yeah, you can uh, obviously join us for that. So that is New World. Let's go back to our game. And for those of you that are wondering what's going on with this, right, today's episode is going to be a fairly short one. It's kind of an intro to what is happening um, for this season. We're starting season two. Season one was uh, career modded. I added in some mods. So I kind of started playing stock and then watched some tutorial videos. So I knew what to do, um, and then thought, oh, right now I need to add in some mods to make it a little bit better. But I started all over again. Um, we're now starting season two, and we've added in some significant changes to um, the gameplay uh, with a cup or three kind of three main mods that I've added in, with some other little tweaks here and there. Um, so I think the best thing to do, so if I flick over to this screen here, uh, this is CCAM. I'm on version 1.30.4 um, and I'm running Kerbal Space Program 1.12.2.3167. Um, the latest one, basically. And these are all the mods. Now I've got 76 mods installed. I didn't personally install 76 mods. Um, some of these are prerequisites, is it? Is that the word I want to use? Prerequisites, uh, dependencies, it's called uh, within this. Dependencies for uh, certain mods. As an example, um, one of the main mods that I am using is called Kerbalism. This one here. When you install Kerbalism, it will give you a bunch of... Uh, dependencies that you need to you have to install and then some recommendations that you may or may not want to install um, and if I'm completely honest I can't remember which ones um, are dependencies and which ones are just uh, single uh, mods on their own but what I'll do is I'll scroll down slowly so that you can kind of have a look um, and then write them down first thing you want to do is get CCAN uh, obviously you can't download CCAN in this because this is CCAN but what you can do is you can go on to um, just type in CCAN the Kerbal Space Program CCAN uh, download and install this uh, link it to your game folder you can have separate folders if you wish uh, I've got 
my original folder which was on my um, my B drive uh, I then installed another one on my C drive um, and then I've installed this one back onto my B drive so you can go up into file manage game instances and as you can see here I've got my this one that's running at the moment is my B drive I've also got a couple of games on my C drive as well uh, you can install them anywhere you want there are videos um, out there and if anyone really wants me to do one let me know um, but yeah get C can installed and then all you do is you just type in the names that are here and you click apply changes so if this wasn't installed I'd click in apply change to uninstall it you just uncheck it and then click apply changes and it uninstalls it so it's really really simple um, but let me just move down really really slowly um, and obviously you can freeze the video or pause the video and write these down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you the main ones so starting from the bottom uh, the main ones that I um, are put in um, some of them like I say are extra ones that I've added in I don't know whether they're any good or not I haven't really kind of tested everything out uh, trajectories um, I added in uh, you want to add that one in separately strategy that's a main one um, that changes your strategies uh, I went through that in the last episode um, scan sat that is a big um, addition to the game and it's going to add in a whole new um, element that we can actually play uh, restock and restock plus 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 I don't know what push is restock plus uh, that changes how it looks in the last episode uh, in the last season sorry I added in um, another version uh, not it wasn't called restock I can't remember it then then I, I can't remember what it's called now but it was another um, mod that changed the look of certain um, parts within your uh, construction and I actually thought it was better than restock because I started off with restock and then changed it over to this uh, other one. But then I found out that some of the parts was actually broken. Things like the solar uh, panels, they was broken. Uh, they would start, when you launched, they would start extended and you couldn't put them back in again. Um, I don't know whether it was another mod that was conflicting with it that was causing the problems. But either way, I've gone back to restock and that's fine. Uh, real shoot parachute systems uh, that changes how you um, launch your parachutes um, there's like slider bars and stuff like that you you get to see that when we actually use them um, pro before crew this is a big change this is going to change uh, our tech tree and in in a nutshell it will mean that um, instead of me launching my first vessel with a crew um, I will have to design a probe um, and I'll have to work my way up the tech tree to the point where I can then unlock my first um, vessel that can carry crew. So that's going to change the tech tree up significantly. Uh, precise maneuver, I've got that in, I've not actually used it yet. Um, someone recommended it in a video, I downloaded it and again I've not got to use it. And same with nav ball docking alignment indicator because um, I've not done any docking so there we go um, Mac Jeb 2 and Mac Jeb and engineer for all um, that adds in the maneuver bits and pieces um, but again you you have to unlock them as you work your way through the tech tree um, but they're there I, I did use them in the last season what else have we got crash um, this adds in a simulation into the game so that you can simulate your uh, flights, whether it's the launch, um, whether you're orbiting, whatever it is that you want to test. Uh, you can do a test. It costs you funds, um, but then it means that you're not actually using your real vessel um, and wasting a lot more money and potentially lives of your Kerbals. Um... Kerbalism. 
This is the biggest change. This is going to add in a, an element of realism uh, to the game. Uh, the main things being um, the, your Kerbals will require food, water and oxygen uh, and a, a bunch of other stuff. But this is the main thing. Again, there's some really good content out there on what Kerbalism is uh, and how it works. But you'll get to see the differences from my last um, season to this season. Um, things like battery power and all that sort of stuff is going to be a big, big uh, change. Um, so we've got Kerbalism and I've got the Kerbalism default config. You need to get a one of the configs to work alongside this. Uh, Kerbal Renamer, uh, we put that in in the last episode. Um, however, I did say, uh, sorry, uh, last season, I did say I thought this was slightly different. I thought this made it easy to change your Kerbal names. It doesn't, it just changes the stock names to... Uh, well, whatever you select on here. Um, Kerbal Engineer Redux, we've got from last uh, season. Kerbal Alarm Clock, again, we've got that from last season. I didn't really get to use that, but I'm going to probably end up using that uh, in this season. Um, going forward with all the probes and bits and pieces. Um, what else is a kind of a big thing in here? Uh, Eve Environmental visual enhancement to redux um and i've got these stock uh, config uh, pi uh stock planet config uh, file for it there's a couple i went for the stock one uh, that is a visual uh, thing um what else contracts window plus and the contracts pack uh, that adds in extra contracts puts them into categories and changes the, the window that you can look at your contracts uh, to something a little bit better. Um, the community Delta V maps, that's a really good one to get. Uh, so you can work out your Delta Vs within the game. Uh, Chatterer and Chatterer Extended just kind of adds background chattering and noises. Um, Astro Gator is your uh, flight planning tool, really, really good. And Science Continued is the one that puts that little science uh, button, which I won't be using for a little while uh, with the way Kerbalism works, but I've got it in here just in case I do need it. So there you go. There's the mods that I'm using. There are, like I said, seven, oh, 73, 73 mods. But again, some of these you will download and it will add in extra ones. So start off with the ones that I've, I've mentioned the main ones I've mentioned um, and then go from there right let's get back to the game so that's kind of a long-winded um, chat about um, the game but obviously like I said this is kind of an intro we won't really be doing too much I just want to show you what's going on um, so that we can start the actual uh, the actual game um, so Research and development, tech tree, it looks similar at the moment until you zoom out and zoom out. Oh, actually, I can't zoom out anymore, but there you go. Look at how much more tech we've got going on here. This is really exciting. This is going to keep you going for a long time. Um, but like I mentioned, pros before crew. So when we click on here, we don't have any uh, anything that we can put people into. Um, apart from this one here, the Clementine, uh, but this is um, part of restock. So if you don't have restock, then you won't have this. Uh, but we won't be um, putting any crew in anyway. Um, we won't be putting any crew in until we get to here. Space exp Exploration, uh, which is going to... Is it that one? Or, no, sorry, this one. Simple Command Modules where we get our mark one command pod um, so I won't be using this at any point um, even though we could I won't be using it uh, until we get to here so it's quite a long way until we get to this point uh, up until then we're going to be using probes um, as part of this as well uh, it's gonna it's gonna have a scan sat uh, parts in here. I'm not sure exactly where they are. 
uh, I'm sure we will find out. But yeah, it's got ScanSat parts for doing, well, scanning. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm not exactly sure where, uh, where they are. Um, and it also does upgrades as well to certain parts. Um, but yeah, that's all exciting. So this is going to be um, a learning curve for me, for sure. Um, administration building, we went through this in the last uh, season. Uh, difference now is uh, we can do the MUN program um, and MUN probes. In the last season, we couldn't because one of the prerequisites to do this is you hadn't um been to the mun and because we'd been to the mun we then couldn't pick these up so these will be coming fairly soon but obviously i'm going to be doing the mun probes before i do the mun program um because the mun program is crude people and um the probes is obviously uncrewed um one thing that we can pick up is local science uh, as you can see it's highlighted green um there are so many research opportunities right in our backyard. We should focus on local research to bootstrap our space program. That way we can do, uh, that way when we do make it further out there, uh, we'll be sending the best technology we can. It's going to give us a 20% bonus to Kerbal Space Center Science. So anything that we do within um, the Kerbal Space Science uh, Center Science, uh, we're going to get an extra 20%. Um, it's going to cost us 5,000 um, V-Bucks. I'm calling it V-Bucks. It's not V-Bucks. It's Kerbal Bucks. But I'm calling it V-Bucks just because it's shaped like a V. And it's costing us 5,000. But we got 200,000 to start off with. And that's for, in fact, I'm going to call this currency Flip-Flops. Um, <laughs> Flip-Flops is what we're going to call this from now on. Uh, requirement at least 5,000 funds and at least 25 reputation we've started off with some extra reputation um, because and extra funds uh, just because um, we've obviously gained a bit of reputation from our last season um, and brought some money across so we're actually going to pick this one up it's not a significant change um, and obviously when we do stuff that isn't uh, to do with the Kerbal Space Center then it's irrelevant but the main one that we're going to work towards is to boldly go, which is going to give us the extra 15,000 funds every time we transmit or recover science from a new biome. Um, and then MUN probes when we head to the MUN. But we can only have one active at the moment. So once we got enough reputation, we need to have 100. We've only got 30. Once we've got enough reputation, we're going to uh, un uh, we'll upgrade this and then unlock that one. So that's that bit done. Um, mission control. Um, we've got our extra missions in here. We've got a few offered to us. Kerbal kind. Achievement record. Lots of achievements here. Um, and some of these we couldn't do in the last season. Because we'd already done them. The first one, leave the launch pad. Very, very simple. We need to leave the launch pad. It doesn't say what altitude. It doesn't say what speed. We just need to leave it. I'm going to show you how that's done in the next episode. Let's collect you. Uh, and exploration plus. Um, do some science. Orbit curbing. Reach for the stars. Well, we can only have a maximum of two. Uh, so we're going to do some two science. Now, we need to read um, as one of the uh, content creators that I watch always says. Read the fine print or the small print. First things first, we need to do a test of our equipment. Be a good Kerbal and collect some science, prefer preferably while moving very fast. Start space program. Um, objectives, return our first piece of scientific data. Destination Kerbin, experiment any, recover, uh, recover or transmit, launch a vessel into the air. Now it doesn't say how high and it doesn't say how fast. I know it says here moving very fast. But it says preferably while moving very fast. It doesn't say it has to be. So to coincide with our active one here. Where we need to launch. And it doesn't say how high. We're going to grab um, this one here. Which 
it says launch a vessel into the air. Now, when I first looked at this, before obviously doing these videos, um, I didn't actually realise this bit here, and I did the science, and it didn't complete the mission. Because you need to launch into the air to complete this objective. Right, so that's that done. So that's our science and admin, uh, our missions and um, admin done. Astronauts, here we have our initial astronauts uh, that we have. If you would like to be any of these astronauts, now it's going to be a good few episodes. I don't know exactly how many, four, five, six maybe, uh, before we actually uh, launch our first crew. Um, maybe even a little bit longer, but that will give me enough time to get these episodes out and for you guys to put in the comments um, who you would like to be. So just put down whether you would like to be a pilot, a scientist, or an engineer, and it could. I'll, I'll change whoever I need to change, um, and also let me know whether you're uh, if you want your character to be male or female, and obviously what character name. Uh, you may notice none of them are Kerbins anymore. They've all got um, names, and you may recognise some of them. I don't know if you do. Um, but either way, just put down pilot, scientist, or engineer, male or female, and then what you would like to change their name to. And it can be a single name, or it can be a double name, like, you know, for, uh, surname and uh, forename, whichever you want. Okay, so put them down in the comments below. Or join my Discord channel and let me know in there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. The rest of them are the same. So the tracking station, space plane hangar, launch pad and vehicle assembly bay uh, are all the same. Uh, there's no changes there. Uh, the only thing that is um, significant is we've got our sim tester. Uh, we'll look at obviously when we're doing some simulated testing. Um, our... Scansat map, obviously at the moment it's very blank because we haven't done anything, um, but we can send probes up, we can scan biomes. Basically what it does is it scans the planet, gives you a map here, and you can zoom in and out and all that sort of stuff. But you can then be more precise in where you want to land um, for a specific uh, biome. Um, so this is going to be more important when we uh, land in our manned crew. Um, so there we go. So that's pretty much it for this introduction to uh, Season 2 Kerbalism um, Career Mode. Next episode, which is coming out straight after this one. Um, is it? Nope. So this one's going to be published on... So this is coming out Sunday for those of you that um, are watching it today. Um... Next episode will be coming out on Monday, um, and then I'm going to add in an extra one, uh, just because I really like this uh, game, and I don't want to only put two videos out a week, because I want to actually play it quite a bit, so it's going to be three to four episodes a week, um, initially, and then we may wind it down a little bit going forwards from there. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, uh, guys and girls. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Um, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come out. Uh, we'll start our proper episode one. So this is the intro. Episode one um, will be out tomorrow, Monday, where we're actually going to launch some uh, craft. So stay safe, everyone, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.